The year was 1913. Britain's dominance of the world was fading as young America was finding its character and its strength. Victoria was gone, a war was coming, and an era was about to end. As challenges came to Britain's industries and power, the country sought to reassure itself with victories in sport. Other nations had overtaken it in boxing, in track and field, even cricket, but in golf at least, the British still reigned supreme. Harry Varden and Ted Ray were the finest golfers of the day, so great that the 1913 US Open was delayed two months so that they might cross the Atlantic because one of them would surely win at the country club in Brookline. But across the street was a house in which a boy had grown up and from his second floor bedroom window he could see the course where as a caddy he had learned the sport and the honor of the game. Francis Wiemet, 20 years old, an amateur, a salesman at a sporting goods store, had no chance against the two professionals, of course. But he was too young or maybe too innocent to know it. He was the unlikeliest of challengers. That was one reason he ended up with a 10-year-old boy as his caddy. But through four rounds, Eddie Lowry's faith never wavered, he believed, and steady Francis hit the shots. On the morning of the playoff, we met friends begged him to take an older, more experienced caddy, but he stayed loyal to the boy, and they won, together in the rain, 6,000 people turning the course to mud as first Ray fell away at 15, then Varden at 17, and only we met was left. The date was Saturday, September 20th, 1913, the day that changed forever the history of American golf.